Good day folks, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's about the 2.0 firmware update and the GoPro's ability to now do time lapses in RAW and WDR, which stands for Wide Dynamic Range. I was pretty excited about this video and about the update, but it has soon taken a bittersweet turn and I would definitely recommend holding off downloading the 2.0 update and I'll go over why throughout this video. So on April 5th, GoPro released the 2.0 firmware update that added a lot of really nice new features to the GoPro Hero 5 Black and Hero 5 session, including WDR and RAW format for time lapses. Here's a quick example of a WDR photo. You can notice a lot more detail in the trees and in the grass, especially in the dark areas of the photograph. This applies to time lapses as well. It allows to capture more detail and make the image more evenly exposed. And again in this photo you can see a lot more of the detail of the wood grain within the fence and that's because WDR was enabled during the photograph. Yeah so they uh, added that feature which is really nice and uh, they also added RAW. Up until then you could only shoot RAW in photo mode. They also added some other features you can now shoot RAW in night mode uh, photographs and also night mode when doing time lapses. So I'm just going to boot the hero up here and I'll kind of go over those new settings here and where to find them and how to use them. So if we go to the time lapse menu here and we select time lapse photo, if we swipe from the right hand side to bring up all the options we can set, you can see there's ProTune, I have it turned off right now. But it now adds WDR support, and we can turn that on, turn it off, and now it also gives us the option to enable RAW format. And with RAW format, it'll still save the original JPEGs that it would normally create, but in addition, it saves RAW files. Now, RAW files are great if you want to do a lot of editing in post-production in, like, say, Lightroom. It's an amazing format. You can do a lot with it. Up until now, you weren't able to get time lapses in RAW. Now you can only have either WDR or RAW format enabled one at a time. You'll see here if I go to turn WDR on, it's telling me that RAW has now been disabled. So you can only have either WDR or RAW on one at a time. So that's great. You know, I was really looking forward to this. this is one of the features I've been waiting since the uh, Hero 5 first came out. It was rumored that GoPro was going to be adding raw support for time lapses. And that's just really going to make editing so much easier and you can just do so much more with it. Oh, one other thing I want to mention here too is that when you are shooting in RAW or WDR, you have to have it at least at a five second interval or higher. And the reason being is that there are such large files, uh, especially RAW, it needs time to write all the data to the memory card so you need at least a five second interval for raw to work if you have it anything lower than that when you swipe over to get to the setting it'll tell you that it's been disabled because of the settings now the problem is is that so 2.0 came out i upgraded many other people upgraded but apparently 2.0 the firmware is very buggy and uh, a lot of people have had a lot of problems including myself and when I try to do a time lapse in RAW, it records all the JPEGs as normal, but it will only record one frame in RAW. And I have tried every setting I can do. I've posted on the GoPro uh, support forum, just seeing if other people have had it. And I've read that there are other people having that same issue. I did read that um, reinstalling the firmware manually might resolve the problem. So I did that, I restored the camera back to factory, I formatted the memory card, and then uh, did a manual update of the firmware by putting the firmware on the memory card and booting the camera up, and that didn't solve the problem. So as of right now, for me, I still can't do raw time lapses, so I'm a little disappointed in that. I wish GoPro had put some more testing into that before they released it, so I would definitely steer clear of it until they've released another update if you don't have the 2.0 update yet. So yeah, it is an exciting feature and I can't wait for them to get it working. I'm interested to see how many of you can get it working. If you do have 2.0 installed and you're able to get raw time lapses, um, definitely comment down below. Let me know that uh, it's working for you. It'd be interesting to see. And that's it for this update. 
so hopefully I'll make an update either to this or make a new video once the raw time lapses are working and I can do some examples then and show you what you can do with them until then we'll just have to wait well folks thanks for watching this quick update video hopefully you enjoyed and found it informative like this video if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see you in the next one Thank you.